Okay, today we're going to have a look at all of the electrical circuits in the blockchain bunker and we're going to have a look at why they're here and what they do. So to start off with we're going to get our power out of our solar panels or our wind turbine and we're going to take it over to our anti-power griefing circuit. So to do that I'm just going to run it into a branch and we're going to branch off two power into the block pass through on a blocker and then the rest of it's just going to go into our battery to charge our battery <clears throat> you can see the total consumption of our circuits all of it is 50 power which lasts about 10 hours if if you've got a full battery when you get your power griefed so you've got plenty of time to come and fix that up so we'll take it back out of the battery into another branch and that goes in through the blocker to a smart alarm so you'll get a buzz on your phone if someone does grief your power and you'll have 10 hours or so to fix that up then we move on to our honeycomb you can use counters you can use industrial lights i like to have a counter inside the base so that i can reconnect it if it does get griefed or raided it costs 28 hour to do a one by one to have a pass through electrical item on every tile so 28 through the counter out to them and then back to another counter inside your base and then down through to the counter that will go into the next one through the blocker if the blocker's not powered pass through it will send a smart alarm to let you know that your honeycomb has been destroyed and it will also send power over to our other nodes that are connected and say hey stop sending loot to this base it's getting raided then we move over to our next stage we have our TC upkeep It'll pull it out of the blockchain. Just set whatever you want for your TC. And that'll just automatically keep your TC all, all loaded up. No decaying bases anywhere on the chain. They'll all auto take care of themselves. Moving on to the next one is where we have our conveyors to send on loot to other nodes in the blockchain. Now you can connect to up to eight at one base I'd recommend a minimum of three at every base so how this one works we go into the splitter and then each conveyor has an XOR switch one inputs provided by the node and then the other one is provided by each other node and if their alarm gets stripped if they get raided this is to simulate their raid alarm then this one will stop sending red light no more loot to that base because it's getting raided okay oh, we came on we defended the raid and we got them back on and we will uh, turn them back on now they're all going away we move on to our last little thing which is depositing into the blockchain from outside your base now the way this is set up is a smart switch what we're going to do here is have this turned off so that people can't come and fill up your blockchain with rocks and torches until you want to run up and drop something in you smart switch it on and it's on put your stuff in deposit it and that's off into the chain. Now we can demonstrate that. Here we go. Got some rockets I just uh, alone in Tokyo. Let's set it off into the chain and into the chain and off it goes. It'll go randomly around. Went over there. You can see by the light on top of each box on the storage adapter. So you can see it's pinging. Middle one received and sent. Green light for receive, red light for sending. There you go receive send and it pings around pretty quick it might only just flash through or it might be there for four five seconds it's just flashing around so you don't know where it is at any time 